Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pause and make an examination of our conscience. Almighty Father, you know my deepest secrets. I confess that I have, through my own fault, sinned against your holy laws. In my thoughts, in my words, and in what I have done or failed to do. I sincerely regret my sins, and I am truly sorry for offending you. I ask, Father, that in your mercy you pardon my sins. I promise to change my way of living so that through a deeper holiness, I may better serve you throughout the rest of my life. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You, my sheep, you are the sheep of my pasture. And I am your God, says the Lord God. Alleluia. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Shepherd of your people, strengthen us through your risen presence. May we walk with you each day and follow you in humble trust, for you are the Good Shepherd. 
You call us by name and lead us. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading on this, the fourth Sunday of Easter, is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus, whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promise is made to you and to your children, and to those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response for today's respor responsorial psalm is, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Besides restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake, even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me, in the sight of my foes, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you have gone astray like sheep. But now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, 
you will receive the unfading crown of glory for he is our God and we are the people he shepherds the flock he guides alleluia 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 almighty and eternal God who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy that I may worthily proclaim Holy Gospel, through Christ our Lord, Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may proclaim his Holy Gospel, Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name, and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger, they will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen. I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal, steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the gate for the sheep. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The gatekeeper opens it for him and the sheep hear his voice as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them and the sheep follow him. Words from today's Holy Gospel, according to St. John. I am the Good Shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. Words taken from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 10, verse 14. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. We find in the Gospel of John the great I Ams of Jesus. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. I am the living waters. I am the light of the world. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Each of the great I Ams of Jesus brings about not only a declaration of his own divinity, but also brings about a blessed assurance of spiritual fulfillment, protection, and guidance. 
Today we read of another great I am of Jesus. I am the Good Shepherd. Jesus proclaims in today's Gospel that he is the gate and that he opens up this gate to his chosen and that as the Good Shepherd he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out to pasture. You know of all the physical senses the ability to hear is so important. We are surrounded by so many sounds every day and there are so many distractions in our physical world. All of these distractions make us deaf to the sound of the Master's voice and of our own spiritual voice. We learn in our catechetical instruction that each of us possesses a conscience and we define the conscience as the voice of God. In today's Gospel, the Lord speaks about calling out to his own sheep, and upon hearing his voice, he leads them out. It can be said that we are prompted and directed daily by the spiritual inner voice, which exists deep within each of us. We are directed through the teachings of Jesus to strive to listen and to hear that voice. My brothers and sisters, I believe that when we search the wisdom of Holy Scripture, meditate and reflect upon it, we begin to hear that inner voice a little clearer, a little stronger, and it brings us closer to the shepherd and the guardian of our very souls. We also learn from Catechism that prayer is an essential tool that helps to center oneself to hear that voice, apart from all the distractions in our outside world. As I mentioned last week, so many of us have become isolated due to the coronavirus and have been left to our own thoughts. Though there are many hardships that are being experienced by so many at this time, we all have the opportunity today to turn within another world and to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. In Palestine, the shepherds have the uncanny ability of making sounds that can not only lead the entire flock, but also individual sheep. The layout of the land in Palestine, where sheep would graze, is very rocky. It is easy for sheep, as they graze, to get lost among the rocks and the outcroppings. But when the shepherd calls out, the sheep hear his own voice through a series of whistles, singing, or what we would call today, baby talk. The sheep know of the uniqueness of the shepherd's voice and will not hearken or be led by a stranger's voice. It can be said that sheep are not the smartest of animals, just like humans. Humans, like sheep, tend to wander and place themselves in dangerous situations and in the midst of wild animals, where humans face robbers and thieves that would steal them away from the shepherd. Now the resurrected Christ, as being the Good Shepherd, calls out to those who have become lost due to their own choices. He calls out to them gently by name. But unlike sheep, many humans will not always come back to the safety of the flock. And in the end, 
many will be devoured in the world. Because of our own free will, we are given a choice to either listen or to ignore that inner voice that calls out to each of us to be tended and to be led. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord calls out to us this day to find the safety and security of being a part of his chosen flock. Here he is in our daily living, who calls out to be an overseer during the day and a protector at night. We only need to listen to his voice within for guidance, direction, and inspiration. We read that our Lord knows each of us by name, but the question is, do we know him? Do we tend to graze away from the guidance of our shepherd? Do we truly believe and trust that he knows our daily needs? It is my prayer that we may all hearken unto the voice of the resurrected Lord and may find the assurance in the words found in the first book of Peter who writes, and when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, 
who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they, whose memory we honor on earth, intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, accept this oblation and grant a loving, wise, and courageous spirit to all who pastor, minister, and teach in your name. Through all their words and deeds, may they seek your glory and the increase of your kingdom here on earth. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right and just so to do. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Especially at this time, when he became our paschal sacrifice. He is the true lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for us. And by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church. And we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Zanana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. 
You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread. He gave you thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth so that we might praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always and also with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant unto us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. And may the gifts I have received this day Bring me healing and strength, now and forever. Amen. Let my soul live to praise you, and may your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant because your commands I do not forget. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you so shepherd your people that they shall not want. Lead us peacefully to your green pastures and refresh us beside your still waters. For us who have shared in the holy banquet, restore our souls when we go astray and always lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. 
May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, my brothers and sisters, and may the grace of God be ever with us. Amen. Let us go forth this day as the sheep of his flock. Thanks be to God. This morning in our prayers, let us remember one another. Let us pray for all those who are sick, suffering, and dying, for their families. And on this day, let us offer in prayer peace for the repose of the souls of Stanley Lukomsky on his 12th anniversary of death, and also for Zosia Baranowska on this first anniversary of her death. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto their souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.